Ivy and you guys picked the perfect day to watch my video. Today is going to be fantabulous. As many of you guys know, Maddie B, my Pookie Bear, has finally turned 16, which is amazing because now Matt can drive, which is just wonderful because now instead of me having to pick him up for all the dates, he can come pick me up, which is going to be so romantic. Ah! Okay, I have been planning this little surprise for him for like, mm, roughly a year now which is just it just shows how dedicated I am and what a wonderful girlfriend I really am I think it's the best present I think I've ever given anyone ever it's amazing like sometimes sometimes I'm just left in awe of what a genius I actually am like I think I'm the smartest person I know so basically I had to sneak over to his house I had to do it. I, I couldn't just show up because, you know, sometimes his mom doesn't really want me there, which I can understand because there's so many kids in the family. So I get to their house and they have this huge fence. I mean, they've always had a fence there, but apparently over these past couple of years, they've had problems with people trying to get over the fence, which me personally, I've only tried to hop that fence like once or twice, maybe 10 times, but definitely no more than 20 times. So I really just don't understand why they had to go through these drastic measures of putting up an electric fence? Hello? That really messed up my plans. I had to resort to plan B, which don't worry, I'm really smart, so I always have a plan B. So I had to climb up a tree, and then I decided that once I climbed up that tree, I could slowly edge my way up to the branch and I'd be able to safely drop onto Matt's trampoline and climb his window. <laughs> no problem, right? Wrong! I start climbing up a tree and a branch hits me in my face. Hello, ow, but don't worry, I'm tough. So I kept climbing, finally got to the branch that was high enough for me to jump off onto the trampoline. I laid on the trampoline and oh my gosh, I thought I almost broke my ankle. It hurts so bad, but don't worry, I'm good now. But my shoes, however, are not good. I had my brand new Timberlands that I got for Christmas and they are ruined. It was so upsetting. So you would think that would be the hardest part of this, but you would be wrong because this kid, this kid, Matt, he sleeps with his keys. He is so infatuated with his new car that he sleeps with his keys. And I needed those keys to complete my plan. So I therefore had to then climb up all the way to the top of the house to reach his window with my ladder that I brought with me in my pocket. It's so handy, by the way. It's one of those drawstring ladders that you can just attach at the top. So I had to pull that little guy out, climb all the way to his window, which luckily, for my sake, he leaves unlocked. So I get to the top of the window and Matt's dog is standing right there. And oh my goodness, that thing almost gave me a heart attack. I almost fell out of the window and probably it just wouldn't have ended well at all. But luckily, I was able to regain my composure and crawl through the window. But because of this dog and because of my case of the snuffles, I had to let out a sneeze as soon as I got there. But thankfully, Matt is a heavy sleeper. So finally, I'm in the room, I'm safe, everything's good. I tiptoe ever so carefully over to Matt's head. And ew, he is drooling everywhere. It is disgusting. And I'm over here snotting and I'm just like, oh. Ew, how can we be the power couple of the year? Oh well, tomorrow's a new day. Oh, and by the way, just a little known fact, Matt snores. Ah, I know, right? It shocked me too. How does that beautiful boy snore? Well, apparently he does, and it is really loud and really obnoxious, let me tell you. Anyway, I finally make it over to his bed, and I have to move his big old head off the pillow, once he's finished drooling, of course, because I'm not about to touch that. Ugh. That boy sleeps on top of his key. He is so obsessed, it is ridiculous. Like, what does he really think is going to happen? Some crazy girl's gonna come in the middle of the night and steal his car? As if, he is ridiculous. Anyway, I was finally able to get the key, tucked him back into bed, no worries, and I had to tiptoe around the dog. She didn't bark, so that was really just a blessing because if not had woken up, that would have not been good. Anyway, I finally make it back out to the window and I'm able to crawl back down finally and make it outside to where the surprise is gonna take place and come here guys this is where the video is going to get really good i worked so hard on this present i was up all night and i may have had to make a few sly alterations to his beloved car but 
it is going to be so worth it in the end. I mean, like, when it's beloved makes beloved alterations, it's just, it's a win-win. <laughs> Matt is going to love his birthday present. I'm sure of it. Honestly, he's going to want to marry me on the spot. It's so amazing. I really just wanted to showcase all the fun memories and experiences we've had together throughout the years and how we are truly just a power couple and how we're just amazing and awesome in every single way, shape, and form. I know that he really wants to have a way to hold on to all those memories and just be reminded of how amazing and wonderful I am every day. So Matt's present is just, it's really heartfelt. I did so much research on this project. Honestly, there is no guy in the world that would not love this present. And lucky for you guys, I was able to snag a picture of the final product to show you guys. I cannot contain my excitement any longer. I'm gonna count it down. Three, two, one. Ah! I know, right? This is the best gift ever. Matt is going to walk downstairs, go to get to his car for school this morning, and he is going to flip out. He's probably about to call me soon or something to tell me how much he loves me and how amazing of a girlfriend I am. I mean, I deserve an award for this. Matt is going to flip when he sees this. This is going to be the best birthday present ever, hands down, the best. Oh, that might be him right now. Oh, it's Matt, oh, this is the best day ever. Okay, bye guys, I have to take this. I'll see you next video. Hello, Pookie, did you love your surprise? See you guys next time.